Hello and welcome to my first video on electricity and electronics. In this video I will describe one of the three primary quantities that we deal with in electricity. This is voltage. Voltage is the force that pushes electricity through wires, pushes the current. It is called the electromotive force. It can be related to gravity, it can be related to tension. In fact the Brits talk about voltage as the tension, like high voltage power lines, I'll say high tension lines. Um, so if you have your basic battery right here, okay, 1.5 volt cell, it, it, when you have a voltage present, a field, electrostatic field develops around it. A battery will get a weak field will develop around it, but it, it's actually measurable. So this, this, these fields have certain properties. Um, we've all heard the term opposites attract, likes repel, and um, I'm going to demonstrate that with the electricity. What I have here is um, a piece of aluminum foil supported above a brass rod put into an insulator. Behind me right here is a 3000 volt power supply. You need a pretty uh, significant amount of voltage to observe the attractive and repulsive forces of electricity. So let me turn this guy on and I will show you. On, on the tip of here is roughly 3000 volts, positive 3000 volts. This right here is neutral, ground, um, zero volts. When I bring this in close to this foil, green light, it pulls it across. In fact, if you wonder how far will 3,000 volts jump, there you go. Not very far, but you need to be really respectful of this stuff. I've been doing this for years. I've been shocked. I've, I've been knocked out once by electricity uh, when I was a teenager, and um, it, it ain't fun. It, it's, it can be lethal. I will show you um, a little bit later a voltage that will be lethal if you get across it. So let me um, turn this off. And I'm going to apply a light charge to both sides of this thing, just like I draw right here. And we're going to have positive charge on both sides. So when I touch this to here, you can see, boom, it comes out. And that is because the light charges in there are pushing it apart. Now when I neutralize it, when I bring it back to ground potential, they come back together. It, it, it's that simple. Um, and also, one neat little piece of trivia is that the, the volt historically has been defined by the force between two plates. Um, you know, the, the, the one volt equals the force over this area and all. I'm not going to even look it up, but that, that is one of the original um, standards. Uh, hopefully, it's still used as a standard. So now what I'm going to show you is a significantly higher voltage. In fact, this can be lethal. This is a old neon sign transformer, 15,000 volt transformer. It can deliver about um, oh, 100 milliamps or something like that. That that is a that that can be lethal. This thing can kill you. So, dial down the voltage, turn it on. So, that is happening right now. As I increase the voltage, you can start to hear a little sizzle going on. And that is the field um, breaking down. And then at some point, around 12,000 volts, there we go. And um, you can see that a, that a um, conductive path is established by this field. And what is happening is that as this field becomes stronger and stronger, the air breaks down. What electrical breakdown is, is that you have your little atoms with your electrons rolling around. And this force, this electrostatic force, this EMF, separates an atom, um, electron or, or more from that atom, from the atoms of the air. And when it starts happening, they become conductive, become ions. And this conductive path is what allows the current to flow to make the spark. The power being dissipated in here is about, a, about 250 or so watts. That's a lot of power. And the heat 
generated by that discharge, by that, 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 that energy being dissipated, causes uh, airflow going up. And that is what pushes that arc up, that conductive path. And what you can learn later on is that sources have a certain amount of resistance in it. So when that arc starts, the voltage on this transformer goes way down. So as long as that arc is there, it's going to stay ionized, it moves up, 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 up. And eventually, it can no longer be sustained. And when it extinguishes, the voltage goes back up to around 15,000 volts. And you initiate another arc. It gets hot, the heat causes it to rise up. And it extinguishes. It's a lot of fun. I love playing with electricity. So my next video is going to be on current. And hopefully that one will be as entertaining as this one. So see you shortly.